monumentally talented guy, and he had a, 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 a he had a, a, a streak of humor in him that was insurmountable. I mean, he he was fine just walking in. He could walk into a room and smile and light up the whole room, and everybody was ready to laugh and to have fun and to hear hear his stories. He was uh, he was the life of the party, and. Uh, how he approached his roles was, I think, in much the same manner I did. He uh, worked and learned his lines the same way I did, and uh, he didn't uh, he didn't have as uh, almost uh, had almost as much to do in the show as I did, but not quite. He didn't have quite as much work to do, and he had more time to study. But he approached it the same way. Uh, Anyone would approach playing a cowboy and trying to make everything believable, everything real, everything, everything. Uh, no, nobody's catching us acting anytime, and no, everything is really true. So he, he he adhered to those principles. I never really discussed with discussed it with him because he was a very experienced actor when he started, just as I was at that time, and we both had. Uh, vast experience in in uh, motion pictures, and we knew what was what we had to do, and we did it. We just uh, did it against all odds because if you have to make a show that is used up every five days, and it takes you eight days to make one, you know you're going into multiple units, and when you go into multiple units, that means you're working on multiple scripts of the same series or multiple scripts, and the characters are. The characters remain the same. Their basic character never changes, but the situations change, and the, the way you react to them changes. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a constant battle to keep that going and keep that realistic and believable. And he was a horseman too. He was. He a was a, a great horseman. He, he had worked on a working cattle ranch in Nevada when he was uh, in high school, and he was up there one summer, and. Uh, they were way off beyond the boondocks, out in the uh, out in the wilds of Nevada. As you know, that state can get pretty rocky and pretty deserty, and they were out there herding cattle or gathering cattle, and they were camped, and I saw a black and white Nevada state trooper's car coming at quite a great rate of speed up the dirt road, and a lot of the cowboys were wanted for something or another, they jumped on their horses and went over the hill so they wouldn't be there when the cop car got there. <laughs> and by the time the cop car, cop car got there, nobody was in the camp except this one kid sitting by the campfire drinking coffee. <laughs> uh, the trooper got out and he said, are you Doug McClure? And he said, yes, sir, yes, sir I am. He said, well, why don't you call your mother? <laughs> <laughs> and his mother had called the Nevada State Troopers and sent him out there to get him to call because you hadn't heard from him in a couple of weeks or something. Unbelievable. So he promised he would as soon as he got to a phone, and he did. 